And when it comes to creating the wow factor, Guy really knows how to have fun. I don't want somebody to walk in and go, yeah, it's OK. I want people to walk in and stand there and put their hands on their hips and say, Even more amazing is that Guy completely ad-libs the interior of his houses. No plans, no drawings, just a vision. I've said all along it's art. It's more art than construction because when you paint a painting, you, you have a vision of what you're trying to achieve, but, of course, you don't know exactly what it's going to look like. And, and that's the fun. If I knew what this house was going to look like from the start, what, what have I got to get up in the morning for? Guy's free-spirited approach to building such expensive superhomes may sound a little radical, but the results speak for themselves. He's now built super homes both in the UK and abroad, totaling tens of millions of pounds. Each one a testament to Guy's maverick methods. In Ed Walton on the outskirts of Nottingham, one of Guy's super homes built over four years ago is about to go back on the market for a cool 3.7 million pounds. Guy is popping over to make sure this five bedroom luxury pad hasn't lost any of its Guy magic. So this is Fairmont, fabulous grand staircase. As you can see, if you look down there, it literally floats. So staircases, open the doors, dramatic, you see the staircase, and that theme continues through a lot of the home. You can see it's all open plan. You've got the lounge, you've got the dining room, you've got the kitchen. Gone are the days where the kitchen's over here and we've got a wall here with a door in here. You stick yourself in there, and we'll see you in three hours after you've pre you know, finished preparing Sunday lunch. We're all going to watch a film, by the way. You're involved. You can still see the telly from here. You can prepare, you can work, and you're still involved with, you know, the everyday family life, aren't you? You've got the, the seating area. I mean, this is a, a mega seating area. Beautiful, great big sofa. You could quite easily sleep four or five people on this sofa. Not, not sit and watch the telly. You could sleep a couple of families on it. I put lots and lots of lights in all my houses. You've got the dining area through to the pool. So again, it's a clever use of glass. You can be in there and be private. It's not hidden away. And then similarly through to the pool where you've got the pool through the glass. But what I'm trying to do is make these pools, because they look so good, I try to make the pool a feature. So even when you're not using it, it's enhancing the way you live because you just see it, you just feel it. You know, in a normal house, if we're all to live in a house that we need, we actually only need somewhere to walk in and stick a coat, somewhere to go to the toilet, somewhere to watch the TV, somewhere to cook a food and somewhere to sleep. But the houses I build offer that time and time and time again. You've got multiple places to sleep, they're all master bedrooms. They're all master suites. The houses I build have got eight, ten, sometimes even more bathrooms. And each one of those bathrooms has got a, a shower for two people. They've got a bath. They've got double sinks. It, you build it up and build it up and build it up. And that's the way I always achieve a premium. Because somebody can walk in and they think, I could move in here. I literally could sleep here tonight. You know, all I've got to do is nip down to the petrol station and get a f toothbrush and I'm done.